Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, this is Railroads and Catacombs, a card building, turn-based tactics, roguelike, and yes I said card building and not deck building. That is apparently because you create the cards yourself from a bunch of different upgrades and pieces to really customize your own experience here. Obviously it's got a Darkest Dungeon heavily inspired aesthetic to it. But in, we're going to go here. We have access to the beta a couple days before the demo is going to be out for the public. It's coming out sometime this year. Uh, select two war paths to create your deck. Constitution? I mean, we only have two options. Kill 10 bosses to unlock this. Explore 300 segments, win 25 fights. I mean, does the order matter? I, I don't know. I'm always a fan of this kind of, like, pick two classes kind of a start to these games. I don't know. I, I, and by that, I mean, I like Monster Train. <laughs> so let's go. Select your background. Oh, okay. Uh, what does this do here? Starts us with, I guess, theoretically a different set of stats, potentially. Uh, you can upgrade them over the course of time as well, it seems. Select the journey level. That just seems like maybe an ascension or difficulty style system. With this Warpath combination, gain 30% more experience. No modifiers for the level. I mean... Oh my god! Okay. Okay. Alright. Engineering cabin? What on earth? Unlocks new boss levels? Seems like we need some kind of meta currency potentially for that that maybe we, I guess, don't have. All right, select the target to travel. Finish off this creature with this warpath combination. Yeah, okay, wait, we don't need to read that every time. Apparently, let's just say the same old freaking thing. Okay, so we have, we have free movement. It's not tile-based, at least not here. This is the map of the area. Pay special... Oh, the font. Oh, the font. Pay special attention to it. Take a look at the map legend. It is recommended that you explore the area a bit and prepare yourself before going to the boss. Okay. I am going ahead to do that here. Uh, you can see your starting cards here. Your starting cards differ depending on which two warpaths you choose. Um, okay, so we got movement. I mean, I'm not one to usually look at the cards before combat. I feel like, you know, it's best to just learn the mechanics as they become relevant instead of overloading. Build your cards by adding card actions. Five bones are required. Notice when this button is activated... Because it means that you already have enough bones to add more. Use bones to customize and upgrade your cards. Choose one card action to customize a card. Plus one damage per two of your current armor. Gain two armor points. Armor last turn. Draw a card. When you play this card, save the total damage and the targets... Wait. When you play this card, save the total damage and the targets of this card. Attack them again with the same damage at the beginning of your next turn. That is interesting. Okay, so we have the two classes here. This one rolled these two. I don't know if it's like we have a bunch of different options or if these are always the one, uh, like the things that we get if we go for this class. Draw an extra card or whenever you play this card, save the total damage. This seems interesting. Okay, so whenever whatever damage we do, we will apparently do it again next turn. Uh, deal range damage to the first character. The first character in a straight line. Uh, deal damage do not need... A straight line vision. Deal damage to... It's off screen, but it's the same as this one over here. Deal damage to an adjacent enemy. Does it? It just does the same damage. It doesn't give me the armor points again, does it? You know, let's go with this. Let's go with that. This is your sanity. You are losing it. Boy, aren't I. Uh, as you explore the world, once it reaches zero, you will start to lose hit points. Recover sanity... To recover your sanity, you can use the rest button. Two wood required. Uh, where is my wood? Oh my god, what the hell, man? To recover your hit points, you can use the drink button. Three supplies required. Does it say... Okay, it does... It has a little... Like, you guys might not even be able to see it, but that does say two wood above there. That does say three drink. So we don't need to remember that. It will, uh, it will do it for us. So are you tr trying to like, get me to do a drink here? I don't really want to. Pick up with E. Okay, so these are just like just some kind of little material. There's like a little bit of automatic walking where there's this is apparently divided into like little segments here. Like I'm walking down a little bit, and to an extent I have a tiny amount of free motion. 
it's, it's kind of an interesting mix here. Uh, why is there a giant tooth tree? Also, should I should I stand by this? I I don't know. Probably not. Okay, so we can explore out here. This is almost giving me like don't starve vibes for whatever reason here. Well, okay, select position, kill champion. Is that the, that's the champion? My God. My god, they're beautiful. Uh, okay. I feel like... I might want to be far away from you. I'm not entirely certain. We have... I mean, we did get Heavy Stab as our first, so maybe that's not so much the best idea. We get the armor points. Uh, fine. Alright. So this... What's up with this? Is just one energy? Great. We use this by how oh I, I was trying to draw okay whatever all right fine okay yeah by putting yourself up here that that was just a bad idea move a number of squares unless okay oh okay so it's not like you drag the card on it like this there's like a little arrow you see that that's oh that's interesting it's pointing up to the spot all right, so this gives me armor points as well, so we'll go for that. I think this turned out fine. We almost got this elite killed already. Um, armor, you have armor, anticipation, skill, or attack with anticipation. Not warm you in the previous turn. Uh, what? Anticipation deals two damage. Don't need a straight line vision with the target. So yeah, clearly there's like a little bit of translation oopses here and there like I'm not sure what the heck anticipation saying a skill or attack with anticipation not warm you in the previous turn does not usually I can I've played a lot of roguelikes that have not been fully translated I've played so many I have no idea what that one's trying to say oh okay so they move and attack in the same turn there so that did two damage but we had the armor so it was not a big deal uh, I don't know if when we kill this, if it will, like, just automatically stop my turn. Don't need straight line with the vision. I mean, we could, though. Like, does it automatically... Yeah, just... Ha ha ha! You find... Do I get all of these? Nope. No siree. Interesting loop, though. Interesting. There's a lot. Like, and don't get, like, when I say a lot, I mean a lot. There's a lot going on. But it's interesting. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We're, we will see. Maybe we go for, like, a little bit more upgrades here. Okay, so, yeah, it does. This aspect is so, no stackable. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that got me good. <laughs> I oh. Okay, I love, <laughs> I love, I love this aspect, how you have the two classes and that determines which two random things it pulls from for you to upgrade your cards when you hit this button. That, that mechanic, oof, chef's freaking kiss, no stackable, uh, returns damage equal to your current armor when you receive a direct attack, no works within direct, yeah, there's, okay, all right, we're, I'm gonna try not to, point out the the translation things here and there i'm not being hired to consult on uh i'm not being hired at all i'm not being hired to consult i ain't getting no money that's why i can you say no stackable and laugh my butt off and not feel like i'm breaching a contract uh let's see here uh no this is also no stackable um so we meaning we can't put it on the same card gotcha uh boy drawing we can't can we put drawing on that zero cost movement ability that seems like that'd be great does not work with indirect damage like disease sure uh seems like maybe we pop that bad boy on on heavy stab like if we could just make this card a really good defensive card anyways when you play this card, save the total damage. Cheater, plus one damage per stack. Plus one damage per stack. Per stack of cheater. Per stack of cheater. To all direct damage sources. Last two turns. 
So it's like it gives us a. I'm I'm trying to parse it. Like, I think it gives us a buff that makes it so all of our damage that we do for two turns is increased by one. I think that's just what that's saying. I think that that is a, a convoluted way of saying that. Um, I kind of like the idea of just doing this, right? Let's make this heavy stab great, because if we ever get the ability to... Do we have any more? Yeah, we don't have enough, uh, any more teeth here. So we have, in order to... This is our sanity. Wood helps us recover sanity. This recovers hit points. So I am on the hunt for a little bit of wood. Uh, yeah, about that. Choose one card action to customize a card. Plus one damage per played card in this turn. Distract. The target loses its next skill. Ooh. So what is this? When you play this card, save total damage and the targets of this card. You attack them again with the same damage. It does not say the same effects. I don't know. I could. It could just be... It could do both. Also, look at that little art. It, I just didn't even process that little art in the upper right there, that little animation. It gets the job done, man. What could I say? It gets the job done. Um, I guess I'll put it on the magic because I don't know what else I want to do with it. The fact that we can, like... It, it seems like that is sort of a CC ability kind of ability just like something i'll want to slap on somebody in order to just save my bacon a little bit so i don't think i want to be limited by um light of sight for it deal 10 total points of damage to win i might be able to do that like real quick i'm curious if we can oh. oh that's not that's not that usable then i thought that maybe i could go for the back line uh where's my armor at my armor's at four i've got no freaking clue how much we would do here but i can say if we go right into this spot we can only get hit twice Likely. So I guess that'll be it. We might we might take damage. Oh, great. That was the that was the setup. Oh, is that what that passive did? It was like um they could do a move without like a cooldown? Is that what you were saying? Like That's maybe that's what it was. Oh, and it's counting downwards. I thought that we only did one. Alright get bodied I guess I'll take one wood to recover my sanity just in case that will mean I get to explore around a little bit more and thus it could mean that we actually get more bones this has a cool gameplay loop to it there's obviously like some roughness and polish and stuff that needs to be done and obviously like the the translation thing like th those things would be great I also like you know what is a bummer about some turn-based tactics games? Sometimes the fights are just too long. That fight was <laughs> done in two, two attacks. But here's the thing. This is such a smart way of doing it, where you go from room to room, and maybe that fight will only take just, like, a moment. The last fight right before it took a little bit longer, and the fight before that took, typically, like, even more. Uh... I like that. It, it breaks it up a little bit more in the gameplay loop of going through room to room collecting these uh, ingredients to pick up these things to customize your cards is very nice. It's very good. Plus one armor per played card. Armor lasts one turn. Could do good. Could do good. So I just like drawing. I like drawing cards. Oh, I wish. I know, part of me wants to just uh, save this for, like, if we can just up it by raw damage. But I guess, can we go? Oh, we can we go? We can go back. Okay. Each time you draw a card, gain a cheater stack. Each time you draw a card, gain one cheater stack last two turns. 
what does this mean? Like, if I play this card, I get this buff that makes it so... I get this cheater stack. So, like, if I play the card that has the gambler... <laughs> I'm just... I'm so fixated on how cool a lot of the mechanics are, and then I just read this, and I lose it. I This card is called gambling. It Do I get... If I play a card that has gambling, do I get two stacks or two turns of this buff where whenever I draw a card, I gain a cheater stack and the cheater stack adds damage? Is that what's happening? Or is it saying if I have a card that has gambling in my hand and I'm drawing cards when I play that card, it gets it. I, I feel like it's got to be the former. That's the only one that would make sense to me. So I guess I'm going to go with gambling and. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Gambling on draw, right? That just seems like a good, solid go. How much sanity does this recover? I haven't the foggiest, though. Pick that up. Let's go right by this, and then we'll maybe... Oh, shoot. So how does how does this work? Does it go based off of time or is it based off of every room you walk in? If I walk backwards, does it count? It does. Okay. Oh god. Kill the champion. We do not get a choice of where to go. Crimson armor offers protection to this enemy against damage. It cannot be destroyed. Meaning that it just, all damage taken is reduced by one. But not if I uh, gambling. I can destroy you if I gambling. Move away. Oh! Let's go. <laughs> I mean, I, I will say, like, because here's the thing. Is that fight way too short? Probably a little bit too short. Probably a little bit too short. However... If you compare that to, like, a tiny little room in, like, an Enter the Gungeon or something like that, where you're moving between a dungeon from piece by piece, like... Oh, is that a full heal? Is that a full 100% sanity heal? Alright. So when this hits zero, we, we don't even die. We just start to lose health. So it's not that big of a deal. So this is a resource room with no resources. Uh, rate... Okay. I I know that the boss was down there, by the way. Don't 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 freak. Kill champion. Okay. Oh I got got. Do I have gambling? Did I play I did not play gambling. Distract. Well, I mean, he lost his skill. I feel like, hot take, all champions should probably have shield. Hot take, they should probably all have shield. Well, maybe not. I can't get over this enemy. I can't. In order to get the kill, we need to go in. How much armor? I got four, four armor right now. Man, I wish... This is... The, the double shot is not coming in handy that much on this. Uh, I, I feel like we'll be alright, because they have to take a turn to prep their stuff. And now I get to go in and... Big boy slash. Yeah, these rooms have been very easy. I'm, I'm, I'm holding off judgment until I... Ooh, two wood actually goes a long way, though. Holding off judgment until I see what the boss is like. And also, this is the first zone. This is the first zone. This is Mario 1-1. One, one. Plus one damage per two of your current armor. Let's put it on that. That's, just, that's a fun synergy. I'm deeply curious what the other like upgrades are like. What like the other upgrades are like. Okay, so we need to... Pivot down to... What is this? It's a, it's a tooth deposit. 
Oh my. Okay. More wood. Can we go up here? Okay, wood. Great. We'll start heading to the uh, the exit again. Mm -hmm. It seems like uh, we lose a lot less sanity if we go into a room we've already been in, right? Oh my god. 0.25. Let, for science, you know we gotta. Let's go 0.25. One. We lose an entire one. But that means that we could probably afford to do this too, right? Uh... Ooh! Resource 5 sanity increases maximum sanity by 5. Where can I find one of these weird, uh... Maggot corpses in real life? Please? Okay, so we got this as well. Gain 2 armor, last per turn. I wonder how the order of operations of the card works. So, like, that card that does X damage, uh, X plus X damage equal to amount of armor you have. If we put this before it on the card, does that matter? Plus one armor per play card. Armor last turn. Plus two damage per draw. What does that mean? Plus two damage for every time you have drawn a card this turn? If so, pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, okay. It goes on one of these. Part of me just wants to put it on that son of a gun. And then we're kind of like doing all of it. We're just put our finger in all the dang pies. Let's do it. Make big funny number. Big funny number. Great. Great. So yeah, I mean, that was the thing. That's why I pushed it is because it seemed like this game is one of the games where exploring everything, if you can, is a good idea. I'm assuming that's the... Yeah, a mighty malignity roams around here. Alright, mighty. Oops! Oh, God! <laughs> Defeat... Arr. What is that buff? This got wild. Uh, man, you know, I hate to say it, we gotta do this. Because it does six, and then it will save that damage for next time. Why did this music get so freaking loud? Devs! Balance your game audio! Okay, so we're gonna fire again. Okay, good. So it saves it, but we don't have to actually do it. Gamblering. Okay, so we got the gamblering buff. So how much did it do? 35% chance of reflecting any direct attack to a random character. Oh! Well, that's what I was... Deals 5 damage and pushes back character in straight line. What we got out of there? Are you gonna do that to this? Override? What was that? That hits allies? You doink! Override a number of cards in your hand this turn. Okay, so override is just like, I can't do it. So we can just do like, heavy stab. That, it got randomly uh, pushed over there. Armor. Okay, so at least we can stun that with Distract. This is interesting. This is a good loop. This is a good loop. Boy, they just... I forgot that we were going to do the 11 damage again. But this time he didn't separate it. 
Uh, back and rest in the train. So that was one like that was one like outing. Recapitulation. Highest attack done eleven. Total damage received. Boo. Select two war pet. Okay, so like we slowly unlock these other ones. So I'm assuming we've unlocked like a new zone to possibly go to, right? Unlock this card action at the next level. Plus one armor at the start of each turn. After disease damage. Plus one armor at the start of each turn until the end of the fight. What? Plus one draw per played card. So every time we play a card, we draw another card? How's that a card action that we get? So this also Okay, so these are all the card actions, and then these are the unlocked card actions. Uh, and these also have passives. Deals damage using your armor. Plus two. Beware of perforate attacks. Extremely defensive. Deals damage using your armor. Plus two maximum cards in your hand. Does this one not come with a passive? Also, it doesn't seem like it matters. I can't swap order. Uh, it doesn't seem like it matters which one's which, but the fact that there's these all here... This changes everything. And the fact that you have the three extra slots for other ones here. Oh, we have a new, uh, a new, whatever the heck. Executioner. So what does that do? What's, what's the big old difference? We get kill them all. 50% chance to add a bone. One bone per killed enemy. Is a bone a tooth? Yes. Starting cards, 11. Wait, how, why do you mean you start with 11 cards? What extra card do you get? You have more sanity, less health. And then if we... Okay, but if we played this character again, we would unlock potentially uh, more... Two more hit points, two more sanity points. I wonder how many levels there are. Like, what kind of... What kind of meta progress are we dealing with here? Select the journey level two. Finish off this creature. Okay. I know we could, like... I, I know we can walk... Yeah, there it is. We can walk around the train. Do I have any of this? No? Is that coal? No, it's iron. Unlocks new boss levels. Use the dark arts of the Kabbalah to gain forbidden power. Create card actions of any warpath. Merchant cabin, obviously cart. What the hell? Build defense platform. What? For when our when our train's under attack, final boss is on our train. So like we have a really tiny train, but slowly and surely we will like make a new bigger train. Okay, so we're trying to fight this thing, right? But like we could fight this. Wait. We can go here, but is that not... Is this... Are we supposed to go here to farm up to beat this thing? Or do I just go here? I do not know. Alright, what do we have? Apparently we should have a different... One extra different card. Okay. So I would say... Yeah, I mean... What do we got? I mean, it makes sense for the cards to innately start out outrageously simple let me start off by saying that but i will say i wish and hope that in the future the different backgrounds have maybe like a couple cards that are changed out like maybe each each class each whatever i don't know backstory uh Maybe, you know, maybe your heavy stab is not this. Maybe heavy stab does not give you two armor. Maybe heavy stab is three, like, two close combat damage twice. And, you know, like, that little change would change a lot. Like, it, instead of three close combat damage and two armor, if it was two close co combat damage twice, because then it could have, that would open up a world of, or, of weird different synergies, or even, like, one damage twice, or one damage three times or something. Like, magic could be... Or, like, maybe the starting deck is just... Your magic is, does three or four three or four damage, but you don't have some of this other stuff. I don't know. Like, maybe you don't have armor, or maybe... 
you, you have no armor, but you have a card that, like, just blocks one instance of damage. You have a card that costs more and blocks one instance of damage. Something like that. Just, just something... Those are just a bunch of random freaking ideas off the top of my dome, you know? But you get what I'm saying. Like, that would... Uh, like, because it seems like the selling point of the game is how uh, infinite it sort of is with what you can do. Restore... Uh, okay. What the... Oh, heck. Uh, and that is, that just seems like a missed opportunity. Like, not to say that I'm not, like, really impressed right now, because I am very impressed. Um, did I, I don't have enough bones to, yeah, I don't have enough bones to upgrade something right off the bat. Kill champion. That's you. I'm assuming things are going to be a little bit tougher now. Like, we beat the first difficulty level area. Like, the, the level 1 difficulty area. And there's 35, so I'm going to assume it's going to get tougher from here. Um, do I draw first? Hmm. Ripper, if this enemy attacks you, if you enter or start the turn in an adjacent square... Okay, so we just have to we just have to watch for passives and things like that. I think this guy might do an automatic action. Yep, but we had armor, so it doesn't. I I was ready for it. That's what that passive means. A skill anticipation deals two damage. Don't need a straight line vis vision. A skill or attack with anticipation not warm you in. Yeah, it doesn't warn you. It doesn't warn you. I th oh, okay, so it's not like a. It's just a misspelling. Okay, okay. That one's just a misspelling. I kind of want to... Here's here's the thing. This different class, we do actually want to play it differently. We want to play it quite differently. I do not want to immediately kill this stinker. I kind of do, actually. They're going to apply disease, which does damage through armor. It does not do it through armor. It does it at the beginning of the turn. It doesn't do it through armor. Draw, please give me movement. Uh, I guess... I mean, you're going to apply more, so I suppose I'll just do this. This is going to be messy. Does that ever stack down? Uh, that's pretty wild. The good news is that. But, wow, things can turn bad really fast. They can turn really bad really fast. I'm so curious about the other factions or other classes. This is... The gameplay loop is really, really clever. Plus two damage per draw. Hmm. Plus one draw. I mean, feels like plus one draw is just a nice thing to go for. We could go for an extra draw on draw, so that this just draws two cards. I feel like, and now I know it sounds boring, but I think it's kind of nice. Like, just we could have spread the love a little bit, perchance. But I don't know how long the run's gonna go. I don't know if I want to maybe save that slot for something else. But this character has higher sanity. So we really want to make sure we use that to our advantage and explore everything. And hopefully we'll get wood. Ayo. Uh, what do we... What is this again? Okay. Got another... A free card action. Card dealer, when you play this card, save the total damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could. Hit me with another draw. I don't know what our max hand size is, so I have to be a little bit careful. I'm going to trust you, draw. If I'm going to cast it, I want it to be, like, really useful. Like, I want card for days. Oh man. I... I... I probably ought to... Start going north towards the boss. Alright, I'll fight. I'll fight. I'll fight. 
kill the champion. Again, do I want to kill the champion right now? I don't know if I do. It's probably better for me if I don't. Theoretically, this is not a kill because you should take less. Yep. I do like the option of uh, the idea of having him at killable territory. I like that a lot. Oof. Oof. We got uh, our max card draw or our max hand capacity is six. Heals the character in the selected square independently of who is in it. Ooh. I bet you there's a class that's like a lot to do with movement of enemy units and stuff like that. Since enemies can hit each other. Plus one attack per turn to a random square deal three damage in each attack. Plus one attack per turn to a random square. Three damage in each attack. So you're, you're going to attack two random spots for three damage. Ah, there's no point, right? Like, it's either I go for it, I don't. Hurry. Hey, we got one toot. I'd rather get the wood to guarantee that we can explore as much of the map as possible. Is this... Man, restore my sanity. Instead, man... Yeah, these layouts are definitely a little bit trickier. They're, which is good. Not like, not like a lot trickier, but they're trickier nonetheless. Okay, draw. We get the triple. Shield. Are you doing something? You're not doing something yet. It's also very generous that they let the player have so much free reign on the first turn. Really, really generous. For now. Will it stay that way? I'm not so sure. Health is for squares. We have enough to um to use the camp. And I again I oh now we have enough to camp twice. I imagine these outings will get bigger and bigger. Like, as time progresses. Alright, what do we got here? Deal a total of 8 damage to win. Okay. Little... Little odd of a hand for this. I'm gonna willingly accept that I will miss a draw. Ah. Uh... Theoretically, you can't shoot me, right? Why? <laughs> Does not need straight line of vision to the target. Okay, so you just do two damage to me all the time forever, no matter what. Kind of scummy, dude. Good. Alright. Alright. Nice, nice, nice. I'd say we just go teeth at this point. Man, I want damage. Plus one damage per two current armor. Do we, um... Do we apply that to the stab? Does it does it work that way? I don't know. I didn't. It was happening. It all happened so fast last time. Okay, it seems optimal to go through here, and then. Man, we didn't even need to. 
do none of that. Okay, so it, it fills up 12? Plus two games per draw. Now, there we go. There we go. They can just be anywhere. That's just anywhere on the field. Let's go for it. Can we... No, why is there something back there? It's almost like we should be able to... Uh, hello. Uh... Man, I wish I knew what your passive was. 75% chance to deal 5 damage with anticipation if you end your turn in a straight line with this enemy. In any straight line with this enemy. Yeah, this looks way tougher, which I'm happy about. What is that? Two. You got some kind of a buff on you? This enemy, enemy always hits you with his skill independently of where you are? Did you apply that? Is that what you did? I want it so bad. I want it so bad. You're going to do two damage to me. This is going to be a lot, though. Always deals two damage. To it? To me? No matter where I am? It seems like that's what it is. You're going to do two damage to me. But so is this. Oh, God. So theoretically, I take two damage here, but my armor should block it. Okay, so yeah, you that passive is to that that modifier. Gotcha. Seventy-five percent chance to do that. I wonder. I wonder. I don't know if it works or not, so I can't do it. So let's think. We have. One damage per two of your current armor. So does this do four or does this do more? So that does four. It does not factor in the amount that is on the card. All right. So please no 75% chance. I mean, what did I expect, really? Yeah, this is, this is way tougher than the last one. Also, I think our deck is worse. Like, I just don't really have uh, the same kind of strength. Okay. That helps a lot. But I am going to... Wait. Deals two damage and push back the first character in a straight line. Okay. I don't really want to let myself get cornered. Oh! Oh! It did not say to me that he was going to also move there. That being said, there was nothing I could have done about that at that point. See, this is looking this is looking like a big old fat L by comparison. For sure. Um So what are you doing? Are you not doing anything? You just vibing? I should probably kill all these other suckers, but it's got so much health that I have to work on. If I had my lat, great. If I had my last build, I would actually have a chance here. I genuinely think if I had my last build, I'd have a chance. Uh. 
attacks you if you are with the two within two. Always invalidates a card in your next hand. So you're doing that. So you're not hitting this square. That is that's this guy, yeah? Yeah. Oh god. I know that's slightly suboptimal there. Okay. We do six damage, we could kill this sucker. Is nobody healing right now? S5 armor to this character. It's like I need to do damage to the boss, too. But I can't have I can't be drawing less cards either. I'd rather be exactly kitty corner here. Oof. Are you serious? Are you doing seven damage no matter what? Always does seven damage? You dirty fool. And a 75% chance to die. Ay ay ay. Ay 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 ay. I feel like we need to move before we do the card draw then. This is nightmarish. I need to get really lucky here. I did. And that's saying something, because I don't really even feel too lucky. Cause I'm still taking I'm still taking three damage. Yeah, this And we got we got the always take five from that too. This is just there was not gonna be a chance. We were we had no way, man. Not with not with the build we had. Always forces you to move back to the first position of your turn. I don't really care about that. That's actually kind of nice in some situations. I don't have the card draw for this, though. And you will kill me otherwise. We're yeah. We're pretty, um... Yeah, I'm pretty bodied. We're alive one more turn. Seven guaranteed damage. What if I didn't have shields, dude? What if I didn't have shields, dude? Eight damage to those squares. Man, the raging blow on top of it. Always does two. Like, I mean, like, you've got to go, but also. Um, just in case I don't, I guess. And I didn't. I did not get the card I needed, so sure. Like, I could walk up and stab, but then i die from the 8 damage over here. We're going to take the 2 from you. There's nothing I can do really right here. I can't move down and stab because then I'm stuck here. I might... There's a 75% chance I get bodied. Always deal as much damage as this character has current armor. Okay, well, if I knew that was coming, I would have... Yeah, maybe I would have sniped that one damage a little bit earlier. Uh, yeah, that's pretty rough. That is that is pretty pretty rough. We could try and utilize this always get your whatever. I I'm screwed. Like because I can't I can't deal damage to this guy. So I can't reduce his armor because I can't get to him and do the damage to him. Also, I imagine this attack is going to come out before before Arthur. Right? <laughs> Before Arthritis teleports us back. Bloody feel? 
Gold bat? You're... <laughs> oh, that's the name of this ability. Oh, okay. I thought that was... I thought that was her name. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out the puzzle here, and... Unless adjacent can mean... Diagonal. Diagonally. Yeah. Hey, teleport me back. Hey, teleport me back. So now I die with perfect HP because that guy does five damage no matter where I am. <laughs> Very cool, though. And obviously, like, we get literal meta progress unlocks that make us stronger. Like, the more you play, the stronger you literally become. Uh, it's it's one, of, one of those. But it doesn't seem too egregious. Um... At least not yet. We'll, we'll see. Doesn't seem too, too egregious. Plus one armor at the start of each turn until the end of the next fight. That's really cool. Plus one drop or plate card. I mean, those seem fantastic. Uh, but yeah, like if we level up with this, we get one extra health, one extra. I mean, like, I don't know what the maximum level is because that that's basically, that's the most telling thing. It's like, what's the max level? That would really do it. Um, but yeah, I would say, I think that if each of these classes or whatever you want to call them had one or two, like ideally two ish, three ish unique cards to them, or like two to three copies of a unique ish card to them. I think that that like that skyrockets your, you know, the uniqueness uh, of what you can do with the game, everything like that. Uh, maybe that will happen. Maybe that does happen, but the starting cards are obviously very simple, and the thing is, they can be because they are a palette. You paint upon them. If the cards are boring, it's because you made them boring. You know? It's it's kind of what's going on. Because these modifiers are interesting. These are like, this is an entire archetype of a character in like a Slay the Spire, and you get to make the broken combo yourself. I think that's so clever, so interesting. It's done in very in a very, very good way. Um, yeah, I, I think this is neat. This is really promising. There's just like a, a little bit of rough edges here and there. A little, it feels a little awkward to move around in the, uh, the world. There's like a little bit of a, I can't, I can't explain it. It feels like you're, you press down like a little bit sometimes and it makes you move for like, I don't know, like a second or two longer than you would want. There's something strange about that. That doesn't really get conveyed in the video very well. I tried, I mentioned it a little bit, but that's one tiny, tiny thing. Uh, there's a little bit of translation things that I think would be great, but some of it, I guess, is just typos, um, and it's not too bad. But, yeah, and I would say changing up these, not these, the um, these to add more unique cards would, that would increase the depth of this game by a factor of, like, 10, <laughs> you know? Just that tiny, tiny change. Uh, and I think, it'd be, I think it'd be super doable. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I think it's super doable. I think you could come up with something very interesting. And maybe, again, maybe there is, and maybe that'll be the, the idea when the game is out. That might be the idea when the game is officially out. As mentioned, there will be a demo coming out on Steam. Theoretically, the, the email says within a couple days. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. I know the Steam uh, Summer Games Fest is, like, around the 14th. So I would imagine... If it's not up by before then, it'll be up then. And it's coming out in 2022. So if you're interested in the game, go make sure to wishlist it up with the link in the top description. I uh, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I think it's really clever. It's doing something unique. There's some weirdness to it. There's a lot at once. But once you get over that hump, there's some cool things going on. I'm not too worried about it being way too easy now, seeing how brutal that boss was. I don't know if it's just brutal because there's not a, uh, like all the content's not in the game yet and they want to make sure it's tough. Uh, or if it was literally just because my deck wasn't as good. I didn't have the card that could do uh, 11 damage twice, you know? Like, if I had that card, that boss would die in, like, four turns, three turns, whatever. So, very cool. Highly recommend you check it out. My name is Retromation. As I mentioned, I cover indies and roguelikes and more every single day. If you are interested in games in this genre, there is no better place on YouTube to check out and subscribe to for games under the radar like this before everybody else starts to cover them in a week or a month or maybe never maybe they go under the radar forever this is the place where you go to find that stuff first subscribe let me know what you think 
Check out the channel. Bro, it's more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.